For African people, nothing important happens without a libation. And so for this very important presentation, we begin by the pouring of libation. We pour libation first to our first ancestor, to that hidden one who, though hidden, manifests in all things as all things, that God, goddess idea in the universe by any and all names. To our first ancestor, we pour libation, our shape. We pour libation too to our ancestors because they were the first people on this planet, mothers and fathers of all mankind, flashpoint of the human family. To those ancestors, we pour libation, our shape. Pour libation too to our ancestors because they were the ones who first gave birth to the idea of civilization, knew we would need a form of governance, and they nurtured that idea along the Nile until it reached its zenith in Kemet. There they built these gigantic monuments as evidence of that great civilization, and they carved instructions on the walls of temples and tombs for us so we would never forget. To those ancestors we pour libation, our shape. Pour libation too to our ancestors because over time they put together all the tenets of civilization and they took those ideas and left the continent. They were the people of the first exodus. They left Africa and went all over the world and peopled the world. To those ancestors we pour libation, our shape. We pour libation too to our ancestors because they did not sit on their laurels. They continued to improve, continued to evolve. And at each point of evolution, they again would leave the continent. Leave the continent and settle and resettle the planet. They met themselves coming and going. To those ancestors, we pour libation, our shape. Pour libation too to those ancestors because over time, they found themselves the object of a forced exodus. When they were kidnapped, shackled, cargoed, shipped out of Africa and enslaved in diasporas around the world. To those ancestors, we pour libation, our shape. Pour libation too to the ancestors left at home, the very young, the aged, the infirm, left to reinvent themselves, depleted of us, human resources. But they were enjoined by us in the diasporas, both objects of a global myopa that ruptured the soul of a people as it ravaged a continent. To those ancestors, we pour libation, our shape. Pour libation too to those ancestors because over time they began to remember who and what they were. Because no matter where they had been dropped off, they still retained bits and pieces of who and what they were. They retained that African core that described them. They began to remember bits and pieces of a song. They began to remember lines from a rhythm. They began to remember dances that they did in ancient times. They began to remember those ancient drum beats that they now beat out on bare skin. And so to those ancestors, we pour libation, our shape. Pour libation too to them because they then began to teach each other. They began to resurrect and reconstruct that history and that culture. They became the new Africans wherever they were. They became the new teachers, preachers, archaeologists. The new singers, dancers, the new drummers, the new Jaliya. They reconstructed that history and our culture and became new Africans everywhere. So to those ancestors, we pour libation, our shape. Pour libation too, to those ancestors because they are the ones who pass that information on to us. And so we pour libation to those of you who will watch this presentation. Those of you who are the recipients of that pieced together history, of that reconstructed culture. To you, we pour libation, our shape pour libation too to our children and those yet to be born for they are the ones that you must teach and you can only teach if you know the history so to you who are learning the history and are passing on that history and to our children who are learning that history and will pass that history on to all eternity but they will call your name in all eternity to our children we pour libation ashe ashe asheo